What's going on everyone? It's RGB here. So in today's video, I'll show you how to install the latest Lineage OS ROM based on the 22.2 build version running on Android 15. Well, we all know that Lineage OS has always been well known for its optimization and better performance, even on older hardware devices. Thanks to its lightweight design and reduced background services, battery life will be noticeably better and it's completely clean. This is the EROFS version, which is a read-only file system optimized for performance reads, meaning the system apps load and work faster than the regular EXT4. This is a GSI-based ROM, which works on most phones that are compatible with custom ROM unlocked models. This version implements tweaks to deliver smooth performance. And if you are using a Snapdragon device, it will be more advantageous. But in my case, I'm using a non-Snapdragon device, which you have already seen in my recent videos. Well, this is my Galaxy A30, which is powered by the seven-year-old Exynos 7904 processor and has four gigs of RAM. Currently, it's running on the latest custom port of Samsung's One UI 7 ROM, which still works smoothly on this older hardware, still good for general usage and stuff. This is a completely unlocked device, and it already has TWRP recovery installed. So anyway, I've already downloaded the Lineage OS ROM file, which is in compressed 7Z format. You need Z-Archiver to extract the image file out of it. All right, so it's done. Now, as usual, let's power off this device. Now let's boot into TWRP recovery by holding the volume up and power keys. Now select wipe. Here we need to wipe Dalvik cache and system partitions. Other partitions like vendor, product, and data will remain the same as we only want to flash the main lineage system image on this existing base of the One UI ROM vendor kernel. Now select install. Select the storage where you copied and extracted the ROM file. Now select install image. Now select the partition to flash as the system image. All right, now let's reboot this device. Okay, it's started. I'll fast forward this process. And there we go, it has successfully booted. Complete the setup process as usual, and here we go, we are on the home screen. It's been a long time since I did a video on Lineage OS 18 or 19, and this is the most optimized ROM after the Pixel Experience ROM to provide better stable performance. Even if you are using a low-end phone, still it feels so smooth even on this GSI, and I'm surprised. As I mentioned, this is based on Android 15 with its own tweaks. This ROM is mainly focused more on performance and some custom features. Here we have default Samsung features. And if you are using a phone like Xiaomi or Poco, it will be different for you. Custom miscellaneous features like tweaking display settings. For example, you can enable dynamic FPS. The other features are the same as on other ROMs. Customization features are not much here. You can change styles, icon shapes, and fonts. Finally, in audio features, we have a lot of custom audio APIs like Dolby, Samsung, and many others. But by default, Dolby is generally good. Other things work as normal, like connectivity. Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are working. Sound is working. In display settings, everything is the same, with the peak refresh rate set up to 60 hertz. The experience is pretty much the same as regular stock Android. The camera is also working. This is the stock camera API version. When it comes to performance, on this phone with four gigs of RAM, about 1.7 gigs is free, which is good. And you can also view the Lineage OS extensions and profiles, which are optimized and tweaked based on this device hardware. The processor on this phone, as I mentioned, is the Exynos CPU, which is pretty low end as of today, with old 64-bit ARM Cortex cores. It's overclocked. So overall, this ROM really impressed me the performance is smooth, the system feels light, and multitasking and memory management are also great on this ROM. Even on this older device, it runs surprisingly well. And if you are using a Snapdragon version starting from the Snapdragon 675 or 845 or higher, you will get a better experience as the drivers are well optimized and provide good response times. And if you found this video helpful, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.